Ahoy mateys! Are you ready to decorate for a pirate themed event? Well come along with me and I'll show you how I transform my patio into a pirate ship. Let's go ahead and start with our bridge. These are fun. You can find these wood logs at the hardware store. And what we did is we drilled holes so we could tie the rope through and link it to the other log and make it look like a bridge. We dug down in the ground so that they would be supported and extra sturdy. That way, if anybody leaned on it, it wouldn't go anywhere. We cast all these plaster skulls you see here using a two-piece mold we made. All the rocks you see here are just pieces of foam we sculpted and then hard-coated using a tile mortar mix. To get the element of running water, I use this rock water fountain we have. These are great and have a great effect at nighttime. They're called fire and ice lights and you can get them in a multitude of colors. Red, green, blue, purple, white. This is our cave wall and this was a really fun project. All I did was take painter's paper like this, rip off long sheets, wad them up, take double stick tape and push it to the wall to give it that cave effect. As far as our pirate ship goes, I use the same paper and I cut out these windows. I put regular kitchen wax paper behind it and did all of this using double stick tape. We painted the outside lines of the wood planks and then dragged our paintbrush in between them for an easy wood grain effect. The nice thing about these wax windows is that they allow light to shine through at night. You can see we're not quite finished painting around the windows. So for these beams, I just covered them in paper and I took masking tape and I just covered the seam from where we wrapped the paper around. I painted the edges and then just dry brushed brown. Some props we had is this old trunk, bottles, coins and gems have these two silver goblets, a wine barrel. I have these two decanters that I got from the thrift store, more jewels, a pirate skull, candelabra. Here's another trunk with some pirate hats and a skull. And this netting is neat. I got this also at the dollar store in the luau section. To give the appearance of a larger net, I went ahead and attached two of these nets from the dollar store together using little bird ties. And that was fast and there's about three of them on there. And I love the way that it looks. So I didn't have to continue going on to the house. I have this old curtain that I used as a drop to end the scene right there. Well, shiver me timbers, that's all we have for today. I hope you guys were inspired by my pirate ship, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Arr, ye better subscribe or walk the plank.